Hello, everyone. This is Tiffany, and I'm Laura. Laura, I want to ask you, what kind of films do you enjoy watching? I love comedies and romantic comedies. Ah, do you have a favorite film that's like、um, you have to watch it no matter what? I haven't checked it out yet, but I think、mm, Me Before You、ah. would be a really good movie. I've heard a lot of great reviews about it.、Mm. Mm-hmm. So animation is also one of my favorite movie genres. So I love Inside Out, and、Minions? I love yeah, I love、Minions. Zootopia. Yeah, wow. Actually, I think I really like animation movies. What about、yeah. you, Tiffany? I think I like a little bit of everything. Although right now I'm kind of scared to watch、um, any thrillers because、um, I'm, I'm really scared of ghosts. <laughs> so I try to stay away from that, and I try to, you know. Keep myself happy. That's and true. You might have、that. nightmares、exactly. if you watch it before you go to bed.、Right? So I usually probably stick to animations before I、yeah. go to bed. It's really light. Happy, it's really funny. It's funny.、Cute. That's true.、Yeah. Okay. So is that what we're going to be talking about today? A movie? Yeah. Exactly. And this is also one of your favorites. It's an animation <gasps> as well. Cool. So let's take a look at the article to learn more. Reading. Kubo and the Two Strings. End your summer with some excitement with the action adventure movie Kubo and the Two Strings. This fantasy film opens in a quiet Japanese village. Here we meet Kubo, a boy who plays a stringed instrument. The music is simple yet powerful, and in more ways than one, the tunes have a magical effect. It's a good thing they do, because Kubo's peaceful life is about to be turned on its head. Some spirits from the past want revenge on his family. Kubo must rely on his music to survive, while he searches for the magical suit of armor once worn by his late father. On Kubo's journey to save his family, he also learns the secrets of his family's past. Kubo and the Two Strings was brought to life by Leica, an American stop-motion animation studio. The film features a star-packed cast, including Charlize Theron, Matthew McConaughey, Rooney Mara, and Art Parkinson. Be sure to catch all the magic yourself when it hits theaters on August nineteenth. Okay, so our article first starts with "End your summer with some excitement" with the action adventure movie Kubo and the Two Strings. Okay, wow! 一开始呢，课文呢就要告诉我们，哎，我们要即将呢看到一个很棒的电影哦，就是以刺激的动作冒险电影哦，也就是英文的翻译是 Kubo and the Two Strings， 中文翻成酷宝魔旋传奇，寒夏天告别吧。OK。Okay. Next, we read this fantasy film opens in a quiet Japanese village. So, this fantasy film, fantasy film's English name is fantasy movie or fantasy films. It's in a quiet village in Japan. Oh, next in the article says, "Here we meet Kubo, a boy who plays a stringed instrument." Okay, what is an instrument? I N S T R U M E N T. It's a noun, and it's an object or a device used to create sound. So, basically, what we think of when we talk about instruments are、uh, musical instruments. So, for example,、um, a piano, a guitar,、uh, the cello, drums. These are all called musical instruments. Okay. You can also、uh, we can divide these instruments into different types. So when we talk about string instruments, it means that on this instrument you see strings. So we have violins, cellos, and guitars. Or you can also talk about wood instruments. Okay, these where you have to blow air into them, like the flute <laughs> or saxophone. 
OK， 刚刚我们看到了 instrument 这个嗯、呃、名词，它就是表示呃有工具的意思或是仪器的意思，所以可想而知，如果 musical instruments， 哎，就是音乐的工具，当然就是指乐器的意思啦。OK， 那我们来看一下刚刚 Tiffany 老师，哇，他提到好多的 musical instruments， 像是这个钢琴啊 ，piano 或是吉他 ，guitar。Cello 是什么呢？其实它就是大提琴，还有 drum 就是鼓哦。那其实啊、呃，这个乐器还有分 string instruments， 就是弦乐器，像是刚刚提到的 violin 啦、小提琴、cello 大提琴、guitar 吉他都是弦乐器的种类，或者是呢 wood instruments 是什么呢？刚刚 Tiffany 老师有提到，还记得吗？就是木管乐器，像是长笛啦，英文我们来学一下，就是 flute， OK， 还有萨萨克斯风，就是 saxophone， OK。那所以呢，刚刚课文。提到就是说，刚刚这部电影哦，在这里我们遇见了一个弹奏呃这个弦乐器的小男小男孩，然后他的名字好可爱哦，就是 Kubo 酷宝哦。OK， All right. So speaking about instruments, do you、mm-hmm. play any musical instruments, Laura? Oh yeah, actually, I used to. I used to okay play the <laughs> piano when I was a kid. 我小时候会弹钢琴 ，but I kind of forgot now. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I played the piano as well when I was a kid, but I totally forget how to do it now. Why? 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 OK， 哇，刚刚的句子我们有看到好多单字。首先，我们来先来学一下 tune t u n e， 就是有这个一首歌的曲调啦，或者是歌曲啦，旋律就是 tune。OK， 那如果你要知道歌曲的歌词，它的英文则是 lyrics l y r i c s lyrics。那像是刚刚 Tiffany 老师有说的，哇，有时候你听到一个一个曲子，你可能就会觉得说，哇，好像你的脑海中都是那个曲子一直在播放，重复的播。放。那我们可以说 ，the tune is really catchy. Catchy 呢，就是通常我们会指像是朗朗上口，或者是它非常呃，就是大家听了一次就马上对它有印象。Or you could also say, I can't get that tune out of my head.、Mm-hmm. Okay, 就是常常你可能听了一个曲子，可能通常是广告 ，like commercial jingles，、yeah. 你听了之后就会想要跟着一起唱。Or like Korean pop songs, like <laughs> Oppa Gangnam Style, right? Yes, that's a very catchy tune. I know. 就是听了一次，然后完全就是烙印在你的脑海里面。那有时候呢，如果有的人他比较不会唱歌，他五音不全，也可以说 ，Oh, I can't sing a tune. Oops. <laughs> All right. So next, we also see our word effect. Okay, careful for the spelling here. It's E F F E C T. This、mm-hmm. is a noun, and it means the power to bring a certain result. So, in this case, in this sentence, this sentence means that the music he plays has this kind of power. Okay, has some kind of magical power. Okay, 刚刚呢，我们还看到了 effect 这个字 ，e f f e c t， 这是个名词，表示效果。所以刚刚课文的那个句子是在说呢，哦，这个酷宝他的音乐虽然非常的简单，呃，却能以一种呃不止一种的方式展现强大的力量，因为这些曲调都具有魔力哦 ，magic。Mm. For example, we can say the mother's soft lullaby had a soothing effect on the crying baby. Hmm. Okay. So, 刚刚呢，呃的例句就是说呢，这个呃、uh, lullaby 就是妈妈她唱这个摇篮曲啊，它就会有一个非常安抚的 soothing effect， 安抚的一个效果，让这个就是哭着的娃娃呢，可能就会安定下来，或是可能甚至于睡觉哦。嗯哼。Okay. Next, the article says it's a good thing they do because Kubo's peaceful life is about to be turned on its head. So, what is going to happen? Why is his life going to be turned on its head? Let's check out. Our shortcut for you. Shortcut for you. 
Thank you for speaking with us at AMC News today, Mayor Aaron. You are very welcome. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Great. First, everyone would like to know what plans you have for the city's public bus system. Excellent question. I'd like to turn the city's public bus system on its head and make it completely environmentally friendly. I believe in a green future for our city. Excuse me, Madam, but how exactly are you going to do that? Are you going to turn the buses upside down? I'm not so sure that's environmentally friendly. Well, you've got one thing right. It's not environmentally friendly at all. In fact, we say turn something on its head when we want to cause something to be the opposite of what it was before. Interesting. For all our listener out there who are wondering. Turn something on its head actually means 翻转颠覆 I just have one more question for you, Mayor Aaron. Yes, what's that? Do you always use such confusing phrases when you give interviews? Hmm. Wow! So, just now is be turned on its head the shortcut for you. So, we just got the last sentence. The text says, "Well, these rules, because of the quiet life, are going to be turned to the side." Okay. So, we just had to do something. 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 Okay. Family, okay. So this movie seems like oh, it's really happy. It's、yeah. about music, but then it's going to be turned around. Okay, <gasps> what is happening? Okay, because spirits want to have revenge on his family. When you want revenge on someone, it means you want to harm or injure a person in return for doing something wrong or harmful to you. For example, if you have a younger sibling and this younger sibling draws all over your homework. You might feel so angry about that, and of course, being、um, you know the older sister or having a sibling. Well, what do you want to do? You want to plot revenge, and you want to do something in return to maybe get them into trouble or make them feel hurt as well. Wow, okay, okay. 这样听起来你好像是恐怖的姐姐。So、yeah. <laughs> okay, 好了，大家还是不要 revenge. Okay, revenge 是什么呢？就是报仇啦，或是复仇这样子的意思哦。像是我们通常可能会怎么样？呃、uh, ，take。His revenge on his enemies. 比方是这样子一个句子，就是说他想要复仇在他的 enemy， 在仇人身上。可是不要不要对你的兄弟姐妹 siblings, OK？ 嗯，因为他们毕竟是你的兄弟姐妹啦。Be nice to your brother, Tiffany. I'm nice now. 而且中文我们不是说冤冤相报何时了，就是不要用这个报复来，就是去去，你知道吗？去解决事情。那 That's true. 对，刚刚的课我们有提到，就是呃。为什么这个酷宝平静的生活即将天翻地覆呢？因为原来呢，来自过去的鬼魂想要对他的家族复仇哦。And we saw this word spirit. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. So spirit is a、uh, it's a noun and it's spelled S P I R I T and it's the non physical part of a person. Okay, so it's basically a person's soul. OK， 所以 spirit 呢，其实就是有灵的意思，或者它也有鬼魂的意思哦。Mm. Okay. Next in the article, it says Kubo must rely on his music to survive while he searches for the magical suit of armor once worn by his late father. So, his music has magic power, and he uses it to survive. Okay. What does survive mean? S U R V I V E. It's a verb, and it means to continue to live or exist regardless of all the hardships that you have ahead of you. So, for example, if you get lost in the woods,、uh, one way to try to survive is to build a fire. So, one way to try to live is to build a fire to keep yourself warm. Yeah, and also find food, right?、Yeah. Okay, so we 刚刚有提到 survive 这个字 ，s u r v i v e， 就是活下来。Okay， 这样子的意思。像是如果我们提到说，哎，如果你今天在这个森林里面 ，woods， 你迷路了，或是迷失了，那当然呢，你就要学会怎么样 build a fire，、嗯、就是要生火了，要不然你会冷死，或者是 find food。Okay， 那刚刚其实我们也看到的片语 rely on， 就是依赖。
在什么什么，以及 search for 就是搜寻什么什么。所以回到课文，我们提到的是库宝必须借由他的音乐生存，就是刚刚提到的 survive， 并且寻找他已经过世的父亲曾经穿过的魔法盔甲哦<笑> ，armor。OK， 这里就是盔甲。那 late 呢 ？His late father， 其实在这里指的就是他爸爸已经过世了。嗯哼。OK. Next in the ar-、uh, in the article, it says on Kubo's journey to save his family, he also learns the secret of his family's past. Wow, this 听起来这故事越来越精彩哦。因为在库宝拯救家族的路呃旅途上呢，他也认识了他家族那那一些不不为人知的一些过过去。Mm, I wonder what happened. So, the article then says Kubo and the Two Strings was brought to life by Laika, L A I K A, an American stop motion animation studio. Ooh, wow, 好厉害哟、哦！所以其实呃，这里我们也学到说，将这个呃 Kubo and the Two Strings 就是库宝魔旋传说搬上大荧幕的呢是 Laika, right? L A I K A. Okay,、mm-hmm. now bring something to life 就是使什么呃。就是生动有趣，或是赋予什么什么生命的意思啦。Right. The article then continues to say the film features a star-packed cast, including Charlize Theron, Matthew McConaughey, Rooney Mara, and Art Parkinson. Okay, so wow, this is、uh, a film with we can say a lot of A-listers, meaning that、uh, it's very. It's also another word to say star-packed. It means it's full of famous people、mm-hmm. or famous stars. 真的，他这部电影真的是众星云集的卡斯哦。其中的 cast， OK， 就是卡斯。我们中午常说卡斯，其实就是来自于这个英文字哦 ，cast c a s t。那当然呢，我们刚刚看到 star packed， 其实就是众星云。云集，那我们可以说 A 咖级的人物都出现了，就是 A listers， 就是 A 咖级的明星人物。另外呢，我们可以用 star packed 来表示众星云集。Yeah， I love Char Charlize Theron，、ah, she's, so she's so beautiful. Yeah, that's my favorite.、Mm, yay! <laughs> All right, so she's a part of the cast,、mm-hmm. and what does cast mean? C A S T. It's a noun, and it means the actors in a film, play, or a TV show. So in this movie, we see the she is a part of the cast. Okay, so last we read, be sure to catch all the magic yourself when it hits theaters on August nineteenth. 最后呢，哎，如果你想知道这个电影呢，想要知道更多有关这部电影，当然要去呃亲自见证，就是所有的魔法在什么时候呢？八月十九号电影上映的时候。Okay, let's now go to our for you chat. For you chat. All right. So our for you chat for today is: If you could have one magical item, what would you choose? Why? I want a Ren Yi Men Doko Demo Door. That's the Japanese version. Because <laughs> I want to go anywhere, like with the door. Like、oh. I want to go to Tiffany's house in a second. And you, that's actually really great because then you don't have to spend hours flying to、I、places,、know. and、I、you can go、sick. anywhere you want. That's so cool. Can we go、yeah. to Japan now if we have this super magical? I would、door? love to. Where is our door? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today.、Um, so yeah, join us next time. This is. English for you. Until next time, I'm Laura and I'm Tiffany. Bye. Bye. Kubo and the Two Strings. End your summer with some excitement with the action adventure movie Kubo and the Two Strings. This fantasy film opens in a quiet Japanese village. Here we meet Kubo, a boy who plays a stringed instrument. The music is simple yet powerful, and in more ways than one, the tunes have a magical effect. It's a good thing they do, because Kubo's peaceful life is about to be turned on its head. Some spirits from the past want revenge on his family. Kubo must rely on his music to survive, while he searches for the magical suit of armor. Once worn by his late father, on Kubo's journey to save his family, he also learns the secrets of his family's past. Kubo and the Two Strings was brought to life by Laika, an American stop-motion animation studio. The film features a star-packed cast, including Charlize Theron, Matthew McConaughey, Rooney Mara. And Art Parkinson. 
Be sure to catch all the magic yourself when it hits theaters on August 19th. Vocabulary review. Instrument. The school's band room was full of various instruments, including trumpets and flutes. Tune. This TV commercial is on so frequently that the ads "tune" often get stuck in my head. Effect. Lauren learned about the effects of global warming in science class. Spirit. Do you believe in ghosts? Or any other type of spirit. Survive. The boat crashed, but luckily, all the people who had been aboard survived. Cast. This movie's cast includes many new stars.